Hello, and welcome to the Red Tech AI podcast, your daily dose of the latest news and insights from the global radio broadcast and digital audio industries. I am your host, Marguerite Clark. Today, we dive into a significant development in the Dutch radio landscape that promises to reshape the broadcasting environment in the Netherlands. The Dutch radio landscape has evolved dramatically over the past three decades thanks to the emergence of new distribution options on FM and DAB+. Currently, the Netherlands boasts 13 national FM networks. Four of these are used by public broadcasters, while nine are operated by commercial stations. Additionally, the country has a robust DAB Plus network that supports around 80 additional radio stations, many of which are new and not just simulcasts of existing FM stations. The situation became more interesting on June 15, 2022, when the telecom agency, the Netherlands Broadcasting Supervisory and Licensing Authority, announced the results of an auction that made available 14 local low-power FM frequencies. This move aimed to give small-scale commercial radio operators a chance to enter the market. Some of these frequencies have successfully resulted in fully-fledged local commercial radio stations, such as Radio Eemland 95.4 FM from Amersfoort, Sunrise 104.2 FM from Rotterdam, and Kukstad Radio 94.4 FM from Deventer. However, the landscape is set for another shakeup. Commercial regional FM lots are facing a similar auction, which will reduce the number of regional lots from over 50 to 27. These new lots will generally cover larger areas. For instance, the current FM lot in the Randstad, a highly urbanized area that includes the Netherlands' four biggest cities and houses nearly half the country's population, will be affected. Popular regional commercial radio stations currently serve this area. In these auctions, the highest bidder wins, with the government focusing on commercial viability. The new lots will link the auctioned frequencies of local commercial parties to already existing regional networks. Some frequencies will not be reissued. This has caused some unrest among local radio station license holders who have invested significantly in their operations and are now facing uncertainty. The current license term for local commercial stations ends on September 1, 2024, while regional commercial stations have their licenses until September 1, 2024. Several parties, including KRCO, a group representing smaller commercial radio stations, have expressed concerns to the Ministry of Economic Affairs, suggesting that a one-year extension would be highly beneficial. After internal consultations, the Ministry has decided to extend the licenses for local commercial radio stations by six months, allowing them to continue broadcasting on their FM frequencies beyond the initially planned expiry date of August 31st. This extension, however, only temporarily alleviates the situation. As we approach September 1, 2025, the auction's potential to disrupt the existing radio landscape for regional and local players looms large. Adding to the complexity is the possibility of interference from foreign parties. The issue is also significant for some national broadcasters who have been using regional FM networks through production agreements. It is likely that this will be the last time FM frequencies are extended for exploitation. DABI Plus and online distribution are expected to play increasingly prominent roles as we move toward 2030. The Dutch government has been actively promoting DAB Plus, linking it to FM licenses obtained through the licensing process. Going forward, new frequencies will also be partly linked to DAB Plus, meaning broadcasters will operate on both FM and DAB Plus for several years. For bidders, the challenge will be to secure commercial viability while offering sufficient relevant local content. The prerequisites for local content have been a frequent topic of discussion and have been formulated differently for the upcoming auction. Meeting these requirements will demand innovative solutions from media companies. If the increase in scale results in unrealistic business operations for current local parties, they can still participate in one of the 80 local small-scale DAB Plus networks yet to be allocated. That wraps up today's episode of the Red Tech AI podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to join us tomorrow for more updates and insights from the world of radio broadcast and digital audio. I am your host, Marguerite Clark, signing off. Have a great day.